Should I go for a dead on or a grazing blow? Uh, which you want? A grazing blow has less likelihood of puncture. I don't care. I don't think the 22 will puncture a Kevlar helmet. <laughs> See, hey, hold on. All right, Destroyer here out with some of my buddies. We're going to be uh, testing the Kevlar military helmet I got. So here we are with uh, 22 long rifle. Firing. Did that even do anything? Did something. <laughs> I heard a ping. All right, let's go check it out. What's up next? Nine millimeter? Nine. Um, I'll let you have the pleasure of doing that. You want to use a pistol or? Oh, I guess we don't have a pistol. Yeah, we don't have a pistol. We'll just have to use the high point. So, 22 hit just above the brim and didn't go through. All right, nine millimeter. I think you popped the balloon underneath it, at least from the shock. Okay, so that was the first nine mil. It went kind of into the brim. Uh, apparently, if you get hit in the brim, don't expect to live or and tell about it. Second nine mil. All right. So now we're gonna try with 12 gauge. Just uh, was that regular bird shot? Regular bird shot. Yep. All right. All right. Let's see if anything happens. Well done, good All right. So now the pellets are lodged from the shotgun shell. So we're firing. 45 ACP hollow point. Was that 230 green? Yeah, it's a 230. Um, um, oh, what is it called? Oh, it's a polymer tip. Oh, the Horner D FTX? Yeah. SX. I don't know. Whatever it is. It's got an X in it somewhere. All right. You're good. Felt the concussion from that one. So it looks like the liner bulged quite a bit from that, but it's still up and running. So we're going to switch sides now to the undamaged side. And ball ammo. Oh, 45 ball ammo, 230 green. See how that holds up. Point blanket. <laughs> hey, stand off to the side. Kill him! Alright. <laughs> okay, so point blank 45 ball ammo, 230 grain, and it still saved uh, the guy's life. Bulged the liner a little bit, but that's it. Um, next up is a special treat. It's Tokarev 7.62 by 25 millimeter. Running, what, 1500 feet per second? Somewhere in there. So it's probably going to cut through this helmet like knife through butter but uh we'll see all right we got some sort of a hit uh, what got it oh no it blew through there and into there i don't know if that went out or if it got no, oh i'll get shot with a toker in the head <laughs> Here's a good easy test. Oh, brother, let me stand back so you don't kill someone with a ricochet. Watch. All right, so we shot two through it. One went through the side, kind of went in at about a 40-ish degree angle, exited the other side of the helmet. So whoever would have been wearing the helmet would have been dead. And then a point blank one just blew through the stuffing into the ground. So now we're doing SKS, which is 7.62 by 3.9, also the same round fired by the AK, but this out of a much more accurate gun. You're good? Grazing blow off the top. Okay, I guess this is a grazing blow off the top. Oh, too high. <laughs> I, did that move it? I, I, I didn't see it move. I'll try again. I think it's going through. It's just not moving it. That could be. All right. Oh, holy cow. That looks like it just blew through. That looks like three perfect headshots right there. Look at that. I thought I was missing. Oh, good. I don't feel so bad about myself. That's a good group, too. I know. All right. 308 DPMS. <laughs> Holy cow. I don't think that off. thing's coming back. <laughs> I'm 
some of it's just free range. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there's the helmet after we completely annihilated it. Uh, the first shot pretty much blew out a huge chunk of it. And then from there, the 308 just annihilated it along with... What were you shooting at that thing? SKS. Ah, SKS. Yep, that'll do it. Yeah, SKS will do it.